Hello and welcome to TM Key Film. In this YouTube, we're putting a boat in the water in a small little pond estuary that sits along Highway 3. And it's like an itch you can't scratch. When I would drive into Bremerton, I'd look off to the right there. That net floating in the water for a number of years. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's seen it. And I got the TFR team together with the Susquamish Tribal Fishers. Oh, what a neat group of people. They volunteered their time to come out and help me remove this netting. Also with the permit process that takes place. And everybody at all ends got together to make this happen. So it was real simple. Had to find a small little boat, worked with one of our TFR team members and put this boat in the water. Took the underwater camera, as you can see here, and started to research the net because we really don't want to do any harm to the habitat. Sometimes, you know, you think you're doing a good thing by pulling this out. Well, it's not killing any seabirds. Yes, it is. In this case, yes. It's killing crab, yes, in this case, but in other cases, sometimes the webbing actually becomes a good thing for the seafloor of small little critters. Shrimp like to hide in the webbings and stuff. It no longer is fishing. So there's a big difference between a net that fishes a silent killer and also a net that's buried into the seafloor and actually is doing a good thing. Crazy, isn't it? But we are now on top of this net and I have to pull extremely hard because it sits into these logs that you can see around me. And as I start grabbing onto it, this little boat's kind of shaky. So we're both kind of hoping that we lean opposite directions when I start pulling on the net. But we do get it out of the water, but it takes some time. And if you've just joined us for the very, very first time, I'd like to welcome you to TM Key Film. And if you get a chance, would you please swing over to Doxies under Puget Sound? Oh, crawdads. Have you ever thought about what a crawdad goes through and the way they eat? We have a live feed right now happening with crawdads in our system. And you can jump on Doxies under Puget Sound and learn all about that. In this video, though, I'm on this net, and you can see the clouded water around me, and look at this, dead crab. Nice little dungy. Other small little crabs are in it as well, but this was the largest of them all. And look how black it is, just from the muck, lack of oxygen, I think is what you would call it. It's not a good thing, but now the net is gone. This area here, of course, and it's been here for over three years, and there was a Dungeness crab, small, trapped in the net. We released it, it looked healthy. But as you can see, the webbing and everything is still the silent killer in Puget Sound. And these nets, we have to get them removed. And with TFR, our number three priority, it's a needed priority in Puget Sound, is net removal. And we have the Northwest Tribe supporting us. So stay with us, people, because we are going to pull a few more of these nets. A lot more. <laughs> a lot more. 